Hello everyone, this is TracerPixel128, and I'm sorry about my voice. I'm tired and I'm just kind of congested, and <clears throat> it's that time of year. This, I'm, this is my updated phone collection video for December 9th, 2018. Right here are all my Android devices, and over here is my old, my old cell phones. <clears throat> And there's one Windows phone and one Blackberry in that collection, so I'm going to start off from oldest to newest. Here is the LG NV that my mom got back in 2007. This phone was originally released in 2006. And it was the successor to the V. This is what it looks like. Unfortunately, I can't turn it on because it's dead. I have the charger for it somewhere. You know, it's got Bluetooth micro SD and it has a, a 2 megapixel camera on it. Mm. Oh, I need to move the camera. <laughs> didn't need to move the tripod there. Here is the Samsung SCH A870. Fortunately it's dead but I was able to take, a ba take the battery out of one of these other phones, one of the phones over there and put it in here. Yeah. There were some games on here, like there was an old Ratatouille game, and there was a mobile port of the game Chuzzle on here. You know, this was our home phone that we had. Next up is my dad's Blackberry 8830. Don't mind the thing, I'm trying to light myself. Here it is. I'm not trying to show my face or anything. On it. There was a battery in here, but it was bulging. It's common for those old batteries, and that's where the micro SD card would go. Probably to put music on it. I remember watching this one video which had a banana inside of a bowl of cereal. Yeah, the banana wrap on here. And of course, it has a micro. No, no, not micro, mini USB port. And a 25 millimeter headphone jack. Yeah. Believe it or not, um, Blackberry still exists. Um, however, the brand was resurrected by a Chinese company and now they make Android phones. Kind of interesting. Next up is my mom's LG NV2. She got this back in 2009. Oh, what do you know? It still powers up. Hmm. At least still has some juice left in it. be cast. <laughs> it's a name I haven't heard in years. And it's dying. You want to know what's really a relic of the past? This thing comes with a one gigabyte micro SD card. <laughs> Considering that today's SD cards are ranging from a hundred, from sixteen all the way up to five hundred twelve gigabytes, this was back in we got that back in two thousand seven. My mom got the NV. That's just crazy. Next up is my only Windows phone in my collection. Of course, you think to yourself, "Oh, it must be a Lumia." Well, if you've seen my previous videos, wrong. It's the it's a Sharp slash Microsoft Kin. Not the original Kin. This is the M model. Kind of like the design of this phone, even though it was not very good to begin with. It had a, a really good camera. It had a, a phenomenal camera on it. It was just doomed from the start. It ran a modified version of Windows Phone 7, and it was just very slow. But my mom got it just for the camera. And it was a decent little phone. I'll go that back in 2011. And next up, and finally, for my cell phones, is the LG Accolade. I took the battery out of this and used it in that Samsung over there. This was my dad's work phone. And it's dead. This one my dad had temporarily back in 2011. He had that droid over there. Um, that's not the original one that he had, um, but 
most of these phones come from my parents when they whenever they upgrade except for this one this is mine yeah. nothing much to say about it it's just a basic flip phone my mom got that from my dad around the time that she got the kin and now moving on to my Android devices starting with the Motorola droid you know, the OG droid yeah, I, I went through a lot of detail about it. It's such a legendary phone. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. I don't know why it stopped recording there. But I was just talking about the droid and its side-out keyboard. And at that part, it just stopped recording. I don't know why it did that. Where's there are the buttons? Back, details, or menu, home, and search. It had a 5 megapixel camera, which was... Three megapixels lower than my mom's kin. First, here's the back. Yeah, you know, since a, since this is a CDMA based phone, it does not take a SIM card. And that's where they that's the micro SD card slot. Overseas, this phone was known as the Milestone. It, it was known as the Milestone in parts of Europe and in Canada. It was also known as the Motoroy in Mexico. And I've seen some old reviews of this phone. Um, this button right here was not white originally. It was originally gold. But the coating must have rubbed off over the years. And this is the only Android device in my collection where the micro USB port is on the side instead of on the bottom like it traditionally is. Yeah, Motorola Droid. Legendary phone. I just wish the touchscreen worked though. Then I would have used it, but but it's a good relic. Next up is the Samsung Galaxy S3. This phone does not need an introduction. Everybody knows about this. And of course, this was my dad's second Android phone. It was also the second device that he rooted. I believe this is running Clean ROM 8, not Cyanogen Mod though. This is the Verizon variant. That's what the back foot looks like. The battery out. Yeah, 16 gigabytes. It's tiny nowadays. Comes with a micro SD card slot and and instead of taking nano sims, it takes mini sims. That's what Verizon first used. And this was a really thin phone. My dad actually kept it in a case all its life, and then he took it off when he got his Nexus 6. But this phone does not need an introduction. Everybody knows about this. And this one, this is my mom's first ever Android phone. Oh, I remember using this a lot to film my videos with. The Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It's been here, there, and everywhere with me. The screen got cracked. The case is in terrible condition. It's dusty, dirty, covered in scuffs. But it still turns on and it still works. I actually had to replace um, the stock TouchWiz launcher with Apex launcher because it was running slow. And of course, since it was an early version of TouchWiz, I'm going to let that boot up and I'll go talk briefly about the second one. Yeah, because um, early versions of TouchWiz were very sluggish. And here is the second Galaxy Note 2 that my mom had. This was the replacement. Don't mind the Ubuntu sticker. And of course, I use this for parts. I took the S Pen out when the one on here broke. The tip broke off. This is running KitKat. This one's still running Jelly Bean. My mom used this for like six months until the case separated and it landed face down on the concrete as she was making as she, as she was texting and she fought with Verizon's customer service for like two months until she got this one in November for that year and she used it for like a year until she got that phone right there and it still works it's rather slow though moving on to 
the Galaxy Note 4. This was originally released in November 2014. This was my mom's second Android phone, not counting the replacement yeah. Galaxy Note 2. I mean, this was a good phone, but it started having issues with the battery. No, not in the... Not like the Galaxy Note 7. No, 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 no. This phone did overheat at times, and it just got into a boot loop, which was a common issue. It was an issue with Lollipop. This is what the battery looks like. And this is the S Pen. It was a good phone. Um, my mom didn't keep it um, without the case. Um, she kept it in the official S View cover, which I happen to have right here. This is what, what it was kept in all its life. Yeah. But, and I just kept it off. I use this as a backup phone from August 2016, um, shortly after I retired that phone, up until just this year, actually. Um, think back in September, so I, I finally retired this phone because the because it just had too many issues. Next up is I'm gonna do all the phones. I'm gonna do the tablets. This is my uh, this is the Nexus 6. This is my dad's third Android phone. Does not need an introduction. Um, yeah, it looks very similar to the Moto X, of course, from the time. Yeah, and it still works. Just seeing your Google logo. It's running nougat. Don't mind the dirty walls. I need to repaint them. Let that boot up for just a second. Probably gonna take a while. I mean, it's a really good phone, but it's a little slow, and I wish it had an SD card slot, but what can you do? I mean, some people praise the Nexus line and even the Pixel line as some of the greatest Android devices ever made, and they are, but what people are forgetting is that they don't even have micro SD card slots. Yeah, it needs to be charged. Let me check to see if there's any updates on the Play Store. And this was the first Android phone that we ever got that had it took nano sims and this was also one of the last devices we ever got that came with a micro SD no not micro SD micro USB port and I'm gonna turn it off and next up is the Moto Z4 Stride. You've probably seen my update video that I posted back in May. This was my mom's fourth Android phone, technically, because her third was because her third was the Galaxy Note 7, which I don't have. Obviously, I'll probably put in a picture. She had the blue one. Um, but you can take my word for it. This is the Moto Z4 Stride. It originally shook with the marshmallow. She got this as a replacement for her recalled Galaxy Note 7. Yeah, she was one of the unfortunate folks that bought it. So I could probably adjust the brightness. You probably can't see it. Kind of a shame it doesn't have the droid eye on it. And of course, I still use this as my backup phone. It's decent for what it is. Yeah. 
And finally, for the phones is my Google Pixel. I have never shown this before on camera because I usually use it as my camera. Let's turn it on. I use this phone every day. It's my Pixel. I love this thing. In fact, that's this phone is my namesake. Tracer Pixel 128. Yeah. I actually came up with that username before I had gotten the phone itself. It's currently running Pi. Yep. Yeah. Set there. And finally, here are the tablets. It's my Google Nexus 7. You probably remember that really old video I did where I sort of reviewed it. See, this thing just still turns on. Oh, it does! I... I haven't used this thing in forever. Actually, technically, no. I tried to make a video last month that it didn't really work out well. Probably gonna take forever for it to turn on. It's currently really a lollipop. I'm thinking about downgrading this to KitKat. And I'm going to briefly talk about my other tablet. <clears throat> Here is my Galaxy Tab S that I got as a replacement for my Galaxy Galaxy Nexus 7. Still not sure what these are for. I think it was for the official dock. It has like the same back cover as the Galaxy S5. I got a headphone jack and a marker USB port. There's even an IR thing on here. I think it was only used for one app. There was the volume buttons, power button, and micro SD card slot. I believe th this is running Marshmallow. And my tablet is booting up. Yeah. It's take forever. Hey, it still works! Still connected to Safe Haven. Yep, oh, here it is. Remember this? <laughs> I never put translate. Oh. Let me see if it. Is this. Oh! I was trying to see if this still has the old Google Text to Speech voice or not. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, wake up! Wake up! Come on! Ay, ay, ay. This was just a random message I posted. I wrote, this thing still has the old voice. Just randomly testing because I'm bored. playing on my Nexus 7 besides me. Nope. <laughs> no, it doesn't have the old voice. Well, of course it automatically updates through Wi-Fi, so... Uh, I'm gonna turn this thing off. It's... it's sluggish. Thinking about downgrading it to KitKat. Probably might do that. So I don't break it first. Yeah. I had a lot of fun with this tablet. Hopefully KitKat will bring back to life. I think that's what Morgborg did. I think Morgborg Tech did the same thing to his Nexus 7 where he downgraded it to KitKat because of course um, Lollipop pretty much just killed it. And the moral of the story is, running Lollipop on one gigabyte of RAM just isn't a pretty experience if you ask me. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this 
long video of me rambling about my devices and and of course I am planning some new things for 2019 including a new series all about Bixby. It's going to be called Bixby in your area or something like that. I'm also going to make myself a new avatar and a new channel banner. I hope you enjoy this and I hope and I hope you're I hope you're going to enjoy those new things coming out soon and as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned.